Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of the Linux channel. So far in my previous episodes, I have discussed about uh, Linux kernel's uh, net device uh, data structure, its uh, significance in the Linux kernel uh, networking stack and uh, various examples uh, I have showed in episode 2 inside the Linux kernel source uh, and I have done also a code walk. Whereas in this episode, I am going to discuss about uh, one of the most important APIs of net device data structure. Whereas uh, in my upcoming episodes, I am also going to discuss about some more uh, you know such important APIs of uh, net device data structure and I'm going to give you a live uh, demo in my uh, uh, desktop shortly as well as <laughs> for this uh, you know API also as such. So this uh, episode I'm going to discuss about uh, you know device uh, get by name which is also called as uh, dev underscore get by name API and as the name API says uh, it is uh, quite useful anytime you want to get the net device data structure of the instance uh, and you want to uh, get it with respect to the you know, port name say for example you want uh, the data structure instance of the port e0 and then you can uh, use this api and then you can use its a global uh, struct net you know context and then you can fetch the device uh, data structure instance and from this you can uh, uh, derive uh, the interface index or uh, you can derive its uh, hardware address or anything uh, related to that port as such. So let's uh, you know just discuss about where exactly this API is defined and as well as its prototype and uh, other parameters just before uh, we hop on to my desktop and uh, I show you the live uh, uh, demo code as such. So this API it is uh, been uh, defined in include linux net device dot h you can find its a uh, prototype there and its a uh, source code you can find in uh, net core dev dot c and you can find its prototype like it is going to return the pointer of struct net device and it is going to take two parameters which is struct net pointer and as well as it is going to take uh, the interface name as such. So since it is interface name is uh, a character buffer, it is going to take a const character uh, data type. <laughs> and uh, so as an example, you can just use this way uh, struct net device, uh, and uh, this is going to be a pointer since it is going to return a pointer as such. So you can just use this API dev get by name, and you can just use uh, init net and then you can use this uh, any interface name you want and as an example once you are done you can just uh, you know access this uh, net device just like any other net device instance as such if index and dev name and various other uh, you know parameters uh, within this struct as such so what we can do is uh, we can just uh, hop on to my system and uh, i can just uh, you know show you a live demo of this code i have done in the form of a kernel uh, module so that once i insert the kernel module it does this api and then it uh, shows the result of the you know uh, instance which is written by this api uh, in my system as such hey guys uh, welcome to my desktop guys so so as I discussed in the whiteboard, uh, here is my uh, sample code, which is a kernel module. So as you can see here, it is quite uh, very simple. As you can see, it is uh, having the module in it and module exit. It uh, literally doesn't have any other code apart from this small uh, sample piece of code. And as you can see here, as I discussed in the whiteboard, I'm using this API uh, device uh, get by name, dev get by name. And I'm just passing this uh, global instance because it needs the struct uh, net and then I'm using the uh, interface name and before doing this you can just uh, do a config and uh, you can find the various uh, interfaces in your uh, system and what I'm going to do is end of the video I'm going to share this uh, video in my Google Drive and I'm going to give you the link in the video description you can find the link and you can download this uh, source code as such and, uh, and I'm going to also share all its uh, you know, compile uh, make file also so that you can also uh, compile it in your desktop and you can also test this code as such. And, uh, so what happens is if you do if config you can see various interface names in my case uh, it is showing the uh, interface uh, name as eno0 this is my wired network and it is having this uh, var br0 and local loopback and so on and such 
and I have disabled my Wi-Fi so that is why it is not showing any Wi-Fi interfaces and uh, this is actually my laptop and throughout all my videos I use my desktop whereas uh, I just uh, swapped the hard disk uh, this is an SSD disk I just uh, swapped it uh, momentarily in my laptop so that is why you can see this interface as such and uh, this is almost uh, the latest uh, Ubuntu system also. so this is Ubuntu 16.04 and which is uh, just released uh, last month as such so that is the reason you can find a weird interface name and I am trying to get accustomed towards this uh, new system and as well as new uh, Ubuntu kernel and uh, platform as such. So before uh, proceeding, let me just, uh, before even uh, proceeding towards uh, understanding the source code, let us just uh, try to you know, find this API in the Linux kernel source. So if you search this, you can find it's uh, you know being defined uh, in the source code. Uh, you can find it in netcore dev.c. Let us open this, and it's a prototype in piece in uh, include Linux uh, net device uh, dot edge. As you can see here, uh, this is its uh, prototype. It is returning uh, the pointer struct net device, and it is taking in uh, uh, two parameters, which is struct net and as well as conf care. Uh, star which is the you know, string buffer as such and uh, you can also see its uh, source code where in which you can see it's been implemented by some other uh, wrapper API and uh, and uh, so on as such so you can just go through each API in case if you are uh, trying to understand its source code as such anyway this video is not about uh, trying to understand its source code it's all about how you can use this specific API so just above this implementation you can also find it uh, a sort of limited documentation in the form of you know comments as you can see here it is uh, being described as a find a device by its name so that is the reason it is returning this uh, net device uh, data structure uh, pointer instance and also you can uh, read uh, additional uh, documentation and in case if it is unable to find any device it is going to return the null so this is the understanding of this api with that understanding what we can do is we can just do a small code this way and uh, let me just assure you this is not uh, something which is written according to the standards so it's just a very simple code and it can uh, fail and it may pose any issues or something so just as a matter of safety i can just include this small piece of code uh, dev not equal to null null and then it can do this print k so this way we are little bit sure that nothing goes wrong and it is not going to give any sort of kernel crash or system crash or something like that as such so as you can see here it is a small uh, kernel module and i kept the uh, module in it as uh, my module underscore in it inside that i am just uh, uh, doing this uh, struct net device uh, star dev and just initializing it and uh, directly I'm assigning uh, its value with this uh, API which is I know the uh, port name which is en01 whereas I need the device uh, uh, instance as such the dev instance as such. so that is why I'm just using this you can just uh, for a moment ignore this parameter because all you are doing is uh, you are passing a global instance as such so you are just passing the address of global instance of struct net as such so that is why it is uh, being typed as uh, and uh, init net as such and one more interesting thing is uh, if you search this in google uh, i mean uh, the source code you can find various places it's been implemented more or less it is implemented in the same way as such there are few differences you can find uh, say for example in this case they are using the soft net uh, and uh, through that they are getting the instance whereas in some other place you can see they are also getting the instance in the same way as such so in that uh, way if you do it is going to work so uh, it is going to return a valid uh, dev instance uh, net device instance or else it is not able to find that interface it is going to return the null as such and which is the reason we are uh, just checking if it is not null and then you can just uh, do a sample uh, print message i am just printing uh, you know, the device name and the interface index as such i hope uh, you must be uh, seen my previous episode so each net device interface is going to have an interface index and you can just uh, print this interface index as such so it is as simple as that so what we can do is we can go here and uh, we can just uh, compile this code make yeah, as you can see here it has just uh, compiled this 
kannan module so before inserting this what i can do is uh, i can just do there no messages yeah so i can do sudo ins mod kernel module dot ko yeah it's just inserted yeah as you can see here it is able to find the interface and it is printing the interface name and then the interface index and it is purely getting it through the dev instance we are just doing this we are searching the interface in instance and fetching it only with this name and it is able to get this uh, entire uh, device uh, instance as such so which is why it is uh, getting a valid interface name and an interface index corresponds to the interface uh, pno1 such so that's all guys uh, for this episode i hope you guys uh, liked watching this video in my subsequent episodes i'm going to shoot uh, some more uh, video episodes on uh, various uh, apis of uh, net device uh, data structures and uh, each uh, case where you can use these uh, apis uh, so in case if you have any questions uh, you can post it in youtube comments uh, thank you once again guys uh, for watching this video have a nice day